اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان دا نیم آف اللہ دا موسٹ بینیفیشنٹ اینڈ دا موسٹ مرسیفل ہیئر وی آر اگین ویلکم یو پاکستان انٹرنیشنل اسکول طائف ورچوئل لرننگ سسٹم سو دس از اور فورتھ کلاس آف کلاس ففتھ سوشل اسٹڈیز سو آئی ایم یور ٹیچر سعید احمد لغاری so as you know very well in the last chapter we have learned so now we are starting the second lesson so from this lesson so this is the lesson number 2 world climate so now we will also, we will read it and uh, i will give you also the explanation of the lesson also so here we are reading the climate in the different places on the earth is not the same the place close to the north pole or the south pole is very cold through the year in the previous lecture we have clearly learned from the maps of the north and south pole so as you know very well so look at here this is the map of the earth and here is the north pole and in the down of and this central line is called the equator equator and 90 degree to the up shows the north pole and 90 degree to the down it shows the south pole so as you know very well in the previous lecture we have learned it clearly a place close to the equator is usually very hot throughout the year so here is the equatorial line in this line mostly the climate is very hot so a place close to the equator is usually very hot throughout the year so the countries are lying near to the equator to the upward or downward this red line mostly countries are their climate is very hot effects of climate climate has a great effect on people and the way they live climate also has an effect on the clothes we wear the food we eat and the way we spend our leisure time in a warm climate people can take part in outdoor and water sports so now we are changing the page so in page number 7 in cold climates people can still take part in outdoor sports but they mostly refer to stay indoors and enjoy indoor games here are some indoor games which people can enjoy the indoor games so as you know this is the badminton billiard chess squash these are the games so the people enjoy or the children enjoy in indoor games so if we live in a dry area we build houses with a flat roof look at this one the people who are living in the dry places their homes or their roofs of their homes are flat in the places that receive a lot of snow or rain the houses are are built with sloping roof look at this one the people are living in the rainy places or snow snowing places their roofs are not flat but a uh, sloping roofs so that the rain and snow can easily run straight off so north the near the north poles the 
there are not trees so the people living in the regions used to make houses using blocks of snow look at this the people which are to be living on the north pole as we have learned in the um, previous page so these are the north pole so near the north pole because there is a very cold and there is an, an no trees and the lands are flat and mostly it is covered with snow so the peoples which are living on the north pole they make uh, they make their houses like this type of the houses and these houses are called to be igloos so some crops grow well in a cold climate while others grow well in warm climate for example wheat grows well in milder climate and rice grows well in the warm so wheat grows well look at here this is the wheat and these are the rice wheat grows well in mild milder climate and rice grows well in the warm so these two grains are the most important food of people in the different parts of the world the food habits of people depends on the crops that are grown locally so in this picture it is clear the rice growing areas and the wheat growing areas so here in this page we are talking about the temperatures so this is this is the world map showing the major climate zones of the world so now we we will discuss about this well i i will clear you and i will explain you everything about this map on this map you can see the special lines of latitude north and south so look at this one this arrow shows the north and this arrow shows the south and from this compass direction it is also so be shown as the north pole and the south pole so on this map you can see the special lines of the latitude so these are the lines of the latitudes this is the one line of latitude this is the second line of latitude and this is the equatorial line of the, of the latitude so these are the lines of latitudes so these are the arctic circles of 66.5 degree north if we are seeing looking in this picture on the north there is an arctic circle and this arctic circle is shown the degree degree here it shown the 66.3 or if you will go down to there as a white color so it shows the 60 6.5 to the north the tropic of cancer so here is the tropic of cancer this line is showing the in the map the tropic of cancer the tropic of cancer 23.5 degree north so look at here this is 23.5 degree north is a tropic of cancer so the tropic of a cancer 23.5 degree north the antarctic circle 66.5 degree south, south now if we are going this is the equatorial line if we will go it to the north of this one so this is showing showing us the antarctic circle 66.66.3 or 60 and if you will go little down it will be a 66.5 so from this map it is clear the 66.5 degree of the south is antarctic circle so this circle is a antarctic circle and the tropic of capricorn 23.5 degree centigrade this is the 
tropic of capricorn which is to be equal to the 23.5 degree to the south so this line is showing us the tropic of capricorn these lines are helping in making the major climatic zones of the world so here you can see these are the major climatic zones of the world the polar regions so these are the here it is the polar regions upward to the north here is the polar region upward to the north and here is the temperate region so this line to this line this shows the temperate regions and at the equatorial is uh, near to the equatorial this uh, to the north and to the south these are to be called as a tropical regions and the equatorial regions so these from this map it is clear for you the all the temperature how the world's map can show us the different temperatures and also from these key points as we have learned in the last last lecture also so these are the different colors in this map are showing the different type of the regions so look at here near the equatorial line are near near to the the countries are lying near to, to the equator equatorial points they are very hot so look at here this pinkish color is showing very hot and very wet uh, countries which are lying near to the equator and this key point which is to be showing us hot and wet so these regions are very hot and very dry and these brown re brown color regions look at there and it is these are also lying near to the equator so these are also very warm and wet these green areas in this map these green areas are showing us cool and dry and where in this map the white color regions the white color regions are mostly are polar region polar regions these are north pole so these are white uh, these regions are mostly covered with snow so these white regions showing us very cold regions so in the next page page number 8 now we are learning the climate of pakistan pakistan lies just to the north of the tropic cancer in the previous picture we have seen here this is a tropic here you can see it this is the tropic of a cancer and here is the equilateral line and from this line upward is a north so pakistan is lying in this tropic of cancer cancer to the north of the tropic of the cancer because these areas you can see the hot areas of the world so pakistan lies just to the north of the tropic of the cancer the country covers a large stretch of land and climate in one place is quite different from that in another the hottest month is usually june the average temperature and the total annual rainfall for a few cities are given below so look at here this is the table which is showing us the temperature and annual rainfall so look at here jakmabad at the january its temperature is 50.15.1 degree centigrade and on the june it is 36.9 and the rainfall well, whole of the year is how much average of the whole year is 110.4 so exactly same the other cities quetta multan and uh, these are karachi lahore peshawar so these are the average temperature and annual rainfall it is clear from this one so the average the average temperature and the total rain of the rain fall of the year is clear from this table so in the next page here it is the same map which is given in the last page we have learned 
the figure given in the table on a page number eight are the average temperatures some places have a very severe winters and temperature can drop very low for example the temperature in koitya has been as low as minus 16 degree centigrade temperatures in the summer can also be well above the average jekmabad once recorded a temperature of 53 degree centigrade and many weather stations have recorded temperature above 49 degree centigrade from this map it is clear from there in this in some areas like as a quetta maybe in uh, some time of the year in the january in once upon a time it was a uh, minus 6 it, uh, its temperature of the quetta was dropped by minus 60 degree centigrade and once upon a time it the temperature of the jekmabad was rise in a june about 53 degree centigrade so in the next page so this is our page number nine and the last page of our chapter to get a good picture of the climate of a place we also have to study the amount of rainfall the direction and frequency of winds the amount of water vapor or humidity in the in the air and other factors the climate is influenced by many things hills or mountains can stop rain from falling in some places strong winds can bring rain clouds to some areas high up in mountains it is very cold so even a place close to the equator can be a cold if it is in the mountains if there is a mountain near to the equator there will be also a uh, season will be very cold to understand how climate affects people's lives we will look at some of the climatic regions of the world as we have learned in the previous page the climate of the world so these regions are the deserts equatorial forests grasslands temperate forest and the polar regions so it is end of our second chapter so our second lesson our second lesson is completed today so if you can solve these questions it will be good if you will not then we will solve inshallah in the next lecture so thank you very much all and wish you all the best